Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. So in this little series I'm putting together for lunar flight, I have reset my profile back to zero so that I don't have any upgrades or anything like that. And then I've started playing forward from there. I think I've done four parts in this series, so this should be part number five. And we have already upgraded a couple of things on the vessel. So let's go ahead, jump into single player. And I think we, so we started off on the map, uh, map one rather on the crater. We performed enough flights there to get some upgrades. And then we did map two last time. So let's try map three this time. I don't think I've done map three since resetting the profiles. So let's try that out. And I think we have already, I don't know if you start off on level one or if you get level one, then level two. Let me see how that works. I forgot. So let's go to the shop. So for thrust, we have level two already enabled. Okay. Yeah. And we don't have enough experience yet for level three thrust. And then again, we have level two enabled for fuel efficiency and we don't have enough experience for level three and the same thing with the RCS and then the stabilizer. I haven't really been putting any attention to, I guess we could, if we have the money for it and we don't, so we'll, we'll maybe consider getting the gyro stabilizer as well, but I don't think that one is quite as important to me as the other ones. All right. So let's, let's do some missions here. And of course my favorites are the, um, the lost cargo. So let's grab one of those. Okay. So this one says that it is going to be Southwest of alpha. So let's see where we are at. We are at alpha. So we need to go South or down and a little bit to the left or west. So probably between here and Delta. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab that mission. So we'll accept it. Make sure our transponder is on and it is. We have fuel, we have full repairs, full fuel as well. So let's go ahead then, since uh, we're gonna be going between, uh, the, the cargo is likely somewhere between here and Delta. Let me put Delta on the map that way when I uh, rotate the vessel around, I've got a target. All right, let's uh, hover up and go find a cargo. So I'm facing south, I believe, so I should rotate to the right, I wanna say. Yeah, it looks that way, looks that way. And right away, I've already got uh, Delta there in that ring in front of me. So it looks like the base that we're at is pretty high up. So I don't really wanna get too much vertical acceleration because uh, we just need to drop down into the canyon. So we're just going to move forward at a couple meters per second here. And I want to kind of immediately, let me zero out my V rate really quick. And then just, I want to kind of look forward, see if I can see the lost cargo. I think I might see it. I think it might be right there, but I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So let me just go back to the uh, zero position here take out some of that forward velocity, null out the vertical acceleration a little bit, or at least bring it down a little. And let me just kind of look over there again. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that's the cargo. So let's uh, head that direction. So I'm gonna put in a, bit of, a little bit of left translation, get the vessel moving in that way. And hopefully we'll get a blip from the trans. There it is. So yeah, pretty confident that's the uh, the cargo. Go ahead and rotate the vessel around. It's a little bit easier to have it right there in front of you. I think it's right in front of that rock. So I just need to settle down here a little bit. Slow down our descent just a little bit. I can hear the beep getting a little bit faster. So yeah, I think it's pretty much right below us. In fact, over on the V camera, pretty much have the velocity vector sitting right on it. So slow things down a little bit. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be the lost cargo. Really easy to find this time. Don't always get so lucky as we've seen in um, other flights, but 
Yeah, this time we got lucked out a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to set the vessel down. Need to be close enough to the lost cargo to be able to pick it up. So I need to move forward just a little bit. Looks like we're going to be on a little bit of an incline here. So quite a bit of an incline. All right, and we're down. Got a little bit of a tipping point there. All right, so I'm gonna go to the cargo, turn off the annoying transponder, hit recover. And once we've recovered it, we'll, that will determine where we have to take it to. So this one's going to Charlie. Let's bring up the map. And we'll go over to Charlie. And I think we have um, enough fuel. We certainly do with our additional fuel modules. All right, so let's go to Charlie. So I need to hover up. Doesn't really matter which way I rotate, but I believe if I rotate clockwise from my current position, um, it'll get me around to Charlie a little bit faster. And then of course, the other indicator to look for, there's gonna be that big green, that thing. So we just need to get lined up with that. And we've got a little ways to go, 1.2 kilometers. So let's pitch forward, get some forward velocity. Of course, we have to remember we're in a canyon, so we do need to climb up out of this canyon. So we wanna be a little bit careful not to fly right into the canyon wall. But it looks like we've got enough uh, V-rate to get up over the canyon wall. So now I'm just gonna put most of my thrust into forward movement just to get over there a little bit more quickly. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna to switch to the C camera. It'll make it a little bit easier for me. All right, so I think we're probably moving fast enough. Let's go all the way to 10. All right, and let's level the vessel back out to the zero position just to make sure we're clearing the canyon walls and looks like we are. And yeah, we don't wanna to climb too high because Charlie's down there inside the canyon so make sure that we don't climb any more than we already have keep an eye on nav c distance down there in the middle so that we know when we should begin slowing down our forward movement i think it was about 1.2 kilometers total distance so probably somewhere around 600 meters we should probably start uh, slowing things down a little bit we do have more powerful thrust, more efficient engines than we did before. So we shouldn't have to worry about overshooting, but even so, it can be a bit easy to uh, to overshoot your targets, for me anyway, at least at least with the when the ship's not upgraded. All right, so let's go ahead and start slowing things down, pitch back. Actually, I wanna also take out some some descent as well because we're dropping pretty quick so we just got the halfway marker on the fuel all right now let me pitch back and get rid of a lot of this forward velocity so i can handle the rest of it with translation so forward velocity actually i don't quite know what the forward velocity is because we're i think that velocity in the middle is total velocities we are dropping pretty quick though so i'll be careful Yeah, so in addition to V-rate, I do wish we had H-rate as well. And then total velocity is good to know, but it's uh, it'd be pretty good to also know the horizontal component by itself. Of course, you can calculate it, but you know, you're trying to fly in real time here, so it's not too practical to do your calculations. All right, so we have about 180 meters to go. Fuel is looking okay. So I think I can get over there without, make sure I clear this bump here, there we go. So I think I can get over there without using one of those fuel canisters. Let's go ahead and try that. If it gets too dodgy though, I'll go ahead and click one of the fuels. I do need to figure out if I can map one of the controller buttons to refueling so I don't have to take my hand off the 
um, off the controller. So 275 left. Let's start slowing things down in terms of our forward movement. Because we do want to make sure that we don't overshoot that landing pad as I've done too many times. Alright. Okay, so we're pretty well locked into the landing pad. Now we just need to move forward enough to get over top of it and then just drop straight down. Plenty of fuel left, so we should be fine. Start slowing things down a little bit more as we're coming in over the landing pad. Make sure that we're mostly zeroed out on our V-rate as well, because we don't want to tip over as we did on the third part, I believe it was. Okay, now we just need to drop. And there we are. All right, so right away, I'll just go ahead and hit refuel, go to missions, and unload. That'll give us some money and some experience. So uh, no close, and let's just take a quick look at the shop. And so we have 21000 almost $22,000. I don't think we can upgrade these yet, nope. I guess we can go ahead Hmm. Yeah, quite frankly, I don't. I just don't feel like I need the stabilizers, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that one. All right, let's do one more mission. Um, just for the sake of time, we will uh, be a little careful. I kind of want to do one of those lost surveys. Let's go ahead and try that. And if we go a little bit over on time, that's okay. So this one's going to be acquire uh, the survey data. Doesn't really tell you where it's at, though, so let's just go ahead and take this one and select the nav look at our map and okay good it's close by all right so we've got all our fuel let's hover up and let's rotate around hopefully i'm not taking the scenic route i'm not good deal and we just have to go over to that location that's marked on the map just kind of on the edge of the map there have to hover in place for something like five seconds six seconds something like that until you acquire the data I can't remember if it marks this one on the map or not with that big green thing. I'm thinking no. Oh, there it is. It's just high up above us. Oh, well, it, it's really close by. Okay, so we don't need any more V rate. In fact, we're climbing way too much. Since that's so close, I'm just going to translate over there. And I don't want to put in too much forward movement because it is quite close. I wish I hadn't climbed so much. So yeah, that sphere, we just have to uh, get the vessel, the like this lunar module thing, inside of that sphere for a few seconds and then acquire data. Um, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, just I had in too much uh, vertical climb there, so I just I'm uh, climbing way higher than I need to, and now I'm just waiting to come back down. All right, so the velocity vector is almost on the data survey target, so there I just locked my power, so I'm kind of currently descending at a steady rate. Now my hands can be off the controller, but I will put in just a little bit more power by pressing the right trigger uh, just a little bit and you can see now the velocity vector is starting to come up towards that location so if I hadn't overshot so high vertically this would have been a bit easier and I also would like to be able to have one of the controller buttons mapped to acquire data so that once we get into that position I don't have to take my hands off you know reach over here so let me actually get this screen up now because I believe it'll be in the missions that's where it'll say acquire data so we're getting pretty close to that point we're 55 meters out slow down my forward movement a little bit 
Okay, now I can see it in front of me. So I'm going to put in a bit more power because I do need to kind of reach buoyancy so that I'm neither climbing nor descending. And slow down my forward movement. Okay, so I'm inside the area. So let me just click acquire data. Oh, I got outside of it. Okay, so I need to descend a little bit. I think I'll just control the power manually. All right, I relocked the power. I'm just going to put in just a touch, a little bit to the left, a little bit back, so we can more or less stay in position and acquire data. Did I get it or did I lose it? I don't know. I don't know if I. I think you get like a beep if you get the data acquired. So I think I missed it. Okay, acquire data. What in the heck? I think I fell outside of the area again just a little bit. All right, got it. So now we need to return to Charlie, which I believe is right behind me, but let me just check. Yeah, all right, so let's rotate the vessel around. And I believe Charlie is below us, so we don't want to climb. Yeah, Charlie's down in that crater, so let's just translate forward. We don't, wanna, again, we don't want to go fast because the base is just really close to us. All right, got the C camera. I can put the velocity vector right kind of on Charlie, translate forward just a little bit and put in some power and lock it. Because I can translate forward a little bit faster. A little bit faster. I just don't want to overdo it. Okay, so we're about 270 meters away from the landing target. We have plenty of fuel, so I shouldn't need a fuel module. And again, I'm mostly at the moment looking at that C camera in the lower right. <clears throat> v rate's getting up there a little bit, so let me just put in some. Some additional thrust just to keep that descent rate under control. And now we just need to touch down on the landing pad, which is mostly below us. You can see the antenna there off to the left. And now I'm just letting the vessel drop a bit and then put in some power to offset the drop until we are in a good position to just touch down on the pad. I think we're clear of the antenna and the wires and everything. Coming in at a pretty steep angle compared to usual, but that's okay. I like that you can see the shadow over there. All right, let's start zeroing out everything here. Okay, and we're down. Not perfectly in the center, but that doesn't matter. You don't get any, don't get any additional points for anything like that. Now we'll go ahead and upload the data. 
and no for the replay close and let's just take a quick look at the shop so let's look at thrust all right so we're still locked out we need we have a little bit farther to go quite a bit farther to go on the experience so we'll need uh, we'll need a few more flights all right well that's going to wrap it up for this uh this video hope you enjoy watching these little lunar flight hop arounds and i will see you in the next mission